All right, folks, what is up? This is One Big Bug. I'm coming at you with Euro Truck Simulator 2. And in this one, I was going to showcase this truck, Peterbilt 386. This is a redone version of the Peterbilt 386 that I showed you earlier. It comes with skins. It comes with, uh, you know, uh, some motor options. Not too many um, customization options, but... You know, it comes with a new sound. As you can see, it's got a new look. It's, you know, curvier, newer. Um, and i got to say a couple things about this because I'm not going to showcase this truck. Uh, it does sound amazing. It sounds awesome in terms of the engine itself. It drives well. It has a little camera to show you your front end because you can't see it very well. Uh, so you have a little screen that shows you your front end, you know, hanging over your windshield. Um... It still has its tachometer issue, and I don't know if the wipers work from the last one. According to what I read from the guy that redid this, it does. But this has one major issue. And it's an issue that I think turns any good mod or great mod into a poor mod. And that is the turbocharged wine is incredibly loud. I just did a 320 kilometer run on it just to test it out and oh my god I almost couldn't complete it. I either almost had to turn my sound off or I almost just quit the job. It was just that loud. It's almost undrivable and if you drive it for anything over a very short run, man, it's, it's going to kill your ears. It really is. So I can't recommend this mod for nothing because of that and it's a shame because the guy came so close to making an amazing mod um, I haven't seen a re-release of it yet if I do you know I'll take another crack at it and hopefully you know somebody takes this mod and turns the turbo charge down uh, other than that man oh, I just oh I mean it's teeth grinding I'd, r I'd rather sit around and you know have somebody slam my balls in a car door a few times than listen to this for another run that's just how how gratingly bad it is. It's like if somebody takes a tea kettle, an old uh, old style tea kettle, and puts it on the stove, and it starts whistling, and it just keeps whistling for the next two hours, and nobody touches it, and you're forced to sit there and listen to it. That's about what it is, you know. Seriously, I would I'd have been confessing to all sorts of crimes. Uh, espionage I could just make it stop that's how bad it was so I cannot unfortunately uh, feature this truck it, it's just impossible so what I decided to try is this one the first we're going to look at it. this is Peterbilt 387 uh, it has like very little to no customization at all uh, you can't customize customize that can't customize the chassis. You have some motor options. It goes up to 540 horsepower. Uh, your transmission, uh, they don't change. Can't change the interior. You can choose some colors. Um, you can put some tires on it. That's about it. Um, I don't know if, um, if there's any custom... No, there's no custom colors. I mean, you can make a custom color out of it. You know, you can uh, make it red, pink. Yeah, I like pink. And that's about it. So, hopefully this sounds a little better. Oops, I actually meant to, um, meant to drive it. Uh, Peterbilt 387. Now, as far as I know, this is a standalone truck. Um, I want to travel uh, garages. I just bought a garage. I think it was here. I just bought this garage. So I'm going to quick travel. I don't know why I keep getting these little... Well, that's understandable. Alright, so I didn't buy just buy the... Oh, I know what garage I just bought. Well, it's okay. I'll travel this one anyways. <laughs> Alright. So, let's see if we get any, um, 
See if we get any freight out there. Worth hauling. Um, I got them set up by root length, which is why we're getting that one. Um, should I go price per distance? Or should I go, I don't know, cargo weight? 25 ton logs. There's a short run. It's 267 kilometers. That's a short run. It's 503. I kind of rather do the 503. 20 tons. That's a little too far. I'm trying to keep these videos shorter. Um, and then I'll, you know, I'll get into some longer ones. Uh, later on. I just like the, the, the change of that. I think we'll take the 503. Alright, so let's take a look at the inside real quick. The inside, and I need to get rid of that. I need to get rid of that, okay. The inside looks decent. The CB, the radio got a GPS, we got our mirrors, we don't have our front, we can't really see our front end with the camera, um, the side mirrors are nice, the window's decent, steering wheel's good, um, yeah, done in miles per hour again, it looks like, on the speedometer, but the tachometer's there, rest of the dials look okay, side looks okay, Looks a little cheesy on the inside, a little cartoony, even looks like maybe some textures are missing. But the sleeper looks nice and big. So, it's not bad. I mean, I, mean, I don't think textures are missing, it just kind of looks like it. You know, the flat blue. I don't think that's a missing texture, but still, you know, it kind of looks like it. Looks a little cheesy on the inside, but it's actually not bad. I've seen a lot worse. about that sound. I mean, that could be what a newer truck sounds like, but I don't think so. That sounds an awful lot like the, uh, the Kenworth. run. Maybe we'll get lucky in the rain and we can test the wipers. The idle sounds good. I don't know about the moving. part of that traffic mod. There's the Scania with the 8x4 chassis. Okay, I can hear the whistling of the um, the turbocharged, but it's not too bad. It's quite tolerable, really. The speedometer works the wrong way, which I'm almost not paying. I'm like so busy looking at the speedometer, I'm not looking at where I'm going. The speedometer, the tachometer is working the right way. I don't know what I was thinking. Right, 
so we'll take our job. Which I guess is... Oh, I know where it is. Yeah, that don't sound right. That don't sound right at all. Oh, the wood actually has... Why would you park the trailer the wrong way? I can probably T-bone it. have a good under. We're too far to the back. No? Alright, it's not going to let me T-bone. That's disappointing. Or I'm just off again. That's all right. We'll do it the hard way. Emergency brake, put it neutral. We're already pretty straight, so let's take a quick look. And we'll catch our screenshot as usual. And of course, I'm gonna, you know, hit the escape button instead of the one button. We're probably not gonna be able to pull out of here in one shot. That's what I'm thinking. Might be able to, depends. Nope. Uh, we're pretty much going to go straight into that pile of wood. That's right, we don't have to back up too much for it. The typical problems of a, of a front-end truck uh, that I get in and drive, I forget its maneuvering is not as quick as a, as a cab over. Is that supposed to be... Oh, I see. It's curtains. Look at that truck. That's pretty cool, huh? Part of that traffic mod that uh, I showcased uh, last video. And here comes another one. Yeah, the turbo... It's not as loud, but it's still ear-piercing. It's still... The problem I had with the 386, the redone version, is the turbo like almost never shut off. It only ever shut off if you were cruising. It got beyond annoying, man. I was seriously, I was like grating my teeth, praying for somebody like stab giant Q-tips in my ears and cause me to go deaf. That's how bad it was. Now, if I had to rate this truck's engine sound, 
honestly, it sounds like somebody took the truck sound of a diesel and put it through a MIDI file. I mean, honestly, that's what it sounds like to me. That somebody made a MIDI file for a truck engine and this was the result. Again, like I've said, I've heard worse. I've heard much worse, but... I know I didn't need to turn there. I just wanted to. So we can turn here, then we can go left up here and continue on the road. Well, I was hoping to get lucky and some more cars would go, but whatever the case may be. I suppose at the end I could show you the 386 real quick. Just to show you what it sounded like. It's a shame because I'm really liking the look of this truck. I'd probably drive it every so often. Just for fun. There's one problem I have with the traffic mods I have installed. It's what you just saw right there. I've seen it a few times. One truck will go by of a certain design, like that DHL um, container. And then another truck will be right behind it of the same exact design. Uh, I've also seen it in the trailers, towing the same exact loads. Yeah, it can get a little... Um, a little disconcerting sometimes. When I say disconcerting, I mean it's just like it removes some of the immersion from the game, yeah. Now it says we have eight hours game time for this delivery, but I'm pretty sure we can cut that time down a little bit. speed up. That's fine. I'll go back to my lane. I really want to tow that cement trailer. Well, I, I don't really don't think it's part of the mod I have. I, I've never gotten to tow it. I've tried modding it in when it was available. And any time it came up, it only had like five minutes left to go and get it. And it was always like in some other country somewhere. And it's like, damn it, that doesn't help me any. Honestly, it doesn't sound too bad. I mean, it still doesn't sound right, but... But it actually 
actually sounds better than the Kenmore of It doesn't sound as good engine-wise as the 386, but... I mean, you don't know how depressing that is. I just gotta be straight with you. You don't know how depressing it is that that 386 has that horrible whine, man. It's just... Oh, cats were crying in pain. Dogs were running around confused. I grew a uterus for crying out loud. That's how bad it was. How does that correlate? I don't know. It sounded funny at the moment. <laughs> I'm not feeling overly well today. I'm actually feeling a little tired. I didn't sleep very much. Um, only slept about five hours. Um, because when I realized, you know, this is home problems. Um... When I realized that my mother-in-law shouldn't have come around that corner that fast, but wasn't doing laundry today, I immediately forced myself to get out of bed at about 10 o'clock in the morning, um, or so, I forget exactly when, and um, I immediately grabbed the laundry basket and... gear down doesn't sound too bad. I immediately grabbed the laundry basket, separated up the laundry, and um, started doing laundry. You know, living in a house with eight, nine people at any given point, there's a lot of freaking laundry. And my mother-in-law does like everybody's laundry but my wife's and my be we are old enough and responsible enough to take care of our own just by, you know, we also don't do a lot. We're disabled, both of us, so we're home all the time versus uh, my brother-in-law, my sister-in-law, and her husband who work. So, there are reasons. I don't want to make it sound like I'm trying to put anything down. I'm not. I realize that when I get into this kind of mood, I can make sound like I'm trying to be a jerk, and I'm not, so. Anyways, I'm getting off track, and I want to get this over with, because I'm sure it's so interesting to hear about my laundry. <laughs> but yeah, as soon as I saw that the washing machine was empty, or at least available, and the clothing, the, the clotheslines were empty, I immediately took off to uh, separate up the laundry, went out and started, uh, started load filled up the line and then tomorrow hopefully I'll be able to cap off what's left so as I was worried if I stayed down and sleeping then the, and somebody would start taking over the washer again so I literally jumped at the opportunity to get it I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you so much laundry is generated by the rest of the house that my wife and I are usually lucky if we get to do laundry once a week I'm really happy for hopefully anyone that sees this um, that maybe you weren't convinced by my traffic mods because it didn't show a lot that now you're seeing a little bit more of the traffic and that hopefully you like it you know, and it's convincing you a little bit more as you've seen the variety of trucks and cars and I gotta check my sound. I don't know if it's my headphones or if it's my... I don't know. I just feel like it's too loud. That's better. I don't know. Sometimes my sounds do get turned up. And I'm not sure how. Man, I... A lot of these trucks that you're gonna see go by were modded trucks at one point that you could drive. People modded them into the game, but they never kept up with them, yeah? And I wish people would. There's so many unfinished mods out there, and then when people don't finish them right, they password protect them. 
which I've never understood whatsoever. Let other people mod your mod, especially if they can do a better job at it than you, as long as they give you credit for it. You know? Gotta be careful the um, country driving here. You know how much I'd kill for a good Freightliner mod? You know how much I'd kill for a good Freightliner mod? There was a, a Freightliner truck put out, but it's half-assed. You know, it's a standalone truck, but it uses the sounds and the it uses the sounds and the interior and all of that of like a Volvo. You know, and that's not well. Wipers don't work on it, which is a very common problem with mods. Yeah. Um, wipers not working. Yeah, I'm going to be yawning a bit and I apologize for that. Again, I can't help it. I'm tired. Driving doesn't make a difference. As a matter of fact, I should have taken that sub 300 run, if I'm to be honest with you. Because I'm pretty sure I get the gist of this truck. But I was playing some Hearthstone today, man, and just my poor Shaman deck. It, it seems to work, but I always just come up against, I always just come up against people that are so much better. Came up against this one guy that was playing an, an impossible combo. Now, when I say impossible, I mean that he'd be lu you're lucky to get it, and that's to have a Molten Giant be low enough health where it can be cast for free, and then you throw out a minion that gives your other minions charge, Throw down the Molten Giant, charge, flip it back with a Brewmaster, recast it, attack with it, flip it back with another Brewmaster, and these are youthful Brewmasters, uh, and attack with it again. So as you can see, you can do uh, you can do 18, not 18, you can do 16, you can do 24 damage in a single turn with just that monster alone. You know, but you have to pull both youthful brewmasters. And you have to have the Molten Giant, and you have to be at a point where the Molten Giant's free. Where if you're getting to that point in your health, it's not beyond the realm of possibility that the person you're against... Um, you know, just kills you outright before you get a chance to pull that combo off. It was an interesting combo to see, and I gave the you know I give the guy credit for it, but it's not something I'd want to rely on in a game. It's really not. Especially if the guy has a couple con uh, taunt creatures out. If he has even two con uh, taunt creatures out, he can absorb two of the attacks. I'm just going through. You know, so that's not all that bad. So you got to do a hell of a lot more damage and hope that he's low. Or at least low enough. Right, hitting that corner too fast. deck like that with everything that he played would really be a victim of a rushdown deck or uh, a spell mage deck because he didn't have a lot 
in terms of um, defenses, yeah? He was basically built around pulling this combo. He was built around getting a lot of armor. He had a lot of weapons, weaponsmiths, so that he could attack things directly to get his health down. I mean, that's what it was all about. I was, I was thinking back to his game, and he was built all around getting that combo and using it. Again, the problem is, if he can't do anything about the taunt, if, he, if there's two, two, two or even three, I don't know why you'd have three, but it's possible, taunt creatures on the field, you can absorb that damage from the, uh, from the Molten Giant. And then chances are you could deal with it. If, I had, if he hadn't got me, if I had even had the secret, because I was playing a mage, even if I had had the secret where I gain eight armor when a, a minion attacks, even if I had had that, I would have survived. And I could have easily polymorphed the Molten Giant. I could have easily killed off his, you know, give other minions charge. I could have easily wiped his board. I could have just cleared out his board. No problem. And he would have been in a tough way. And considering the way the game was going in all the actuality, I wouldn't have had to wipe his board. I was poised to kill him. I had what I needed to kill him, but, you know, he got the combo off. Which, again, you know, was funny to see. I don't even see how you could complain losing to it, just to be honest with you. I'm not complaining losing to it. I'm just saying, based on what I saw and the way this guy played, I would really think the only reason he won, yeah, the only true reason he won was because he was up against somebody who doesn't have a lot of cards, so therefore can't really put together combos. Uh, oh my, excuse me. And certain things like that. Had he been up against a higher level uh, player with deep cards, um, I really don't think that his deck would have held up, just to be honest. A Miracle Rogue deck probably would have just obliterated it. Um, there's a Paladin deck I know about that probably would have taken it down. Uh, Priest deck probably would have even ruined it. But again, I give... Not only... I, I gotta give him a little bit more props than just getting the combo and throwing it out there. I gotta give him props for thinking it up, you know? That's not something you throw together accidentally. Because if you're gonna put giants in your deck, it's not gonna be the Molten Giant. You, you're probably gonna take the Mountain Giant or the, um, the Sea Giant. You know, like, chances really are you're not gonna take the Molten Giant as the giant for your deck. So he honestly had to think about that plus the brewmasters, plus the defenses that he had. But even with the defenses that he had, I knocked him down pretty hard. And like I said, uh, whatever. I, I was poised to kill him. I just needed one more turn. Unfortunately, I only had one taunt on the board instead of two. And I didn't have my ice armor secret. Uh, I didn't even have it in my hand, so I couldn't have cast it. So I didn't live for that one more turn. Yeah, I really should have taken that um, shorter run. I'm actually feeling real tired now. This is a good thing. I'll probably uh, lay down and take a quick nap. Hopefully not more than an hour or two or else I'm going to be up uh, at really odd hours again. And I don't want that to happen. I don't want to like be awake at odd hours. Basically, like I, I think I've told you guys... I've, I've finally came off 
going to bed at 5, um, 6, 7 in the morning and getting up at 2, 3, and 4 in the afternoon. I actually got to a point where I'm getting up at 10, 11 o'clock in the morning and I'm going to bed at 2 or 3 uh, in the morning, which you may think sounds a little weird, but for me, that's actually kind of where I like it because I'm not working or anything like that. Get up about 10 o'clock and going back to bed uh, around 2 o'clock because getting up at 10 o'clock gives me plenty of time and um, you know plenty of daylight and all that to do different chores like clean the room and do laundry and vacuum and things like that if it needs to be done going to you know going to bed at 2 in the morning well that's just going to bed at 2 in the morning and I just feel comfortable at that time um, what was I going to say beyond that yeah but yeah getting up at like 2 o'clock 3 o'clock 4 o'clock in the afternoon well that gives me like no time to do anything for one and for two um, you know you just up till like when everybody goes to sleep you know I'm like getting up just in time to feed my dogs and I don't have enough time to do anything else for the day and it was real disconcerting so I finally got myself back on something a little more reasonable in my eyes and I don't want to end up going back um, off it you know I don't want to end up going back to uh, to those weird times again. Are we highway swapping or are we going country road? You know, I got to admit, once you get this truck rolling, the sound's not all that bad. It's really not great, but it's not all that bad. I should really be slow. Fortunately, I'm only hauling 20 tons. The wipers do not match the sound. I didn't think to check that earlier, but the wipers have the, the standard uh, long sweep sound of uh, big windshield wipers and these wipers move extra, extra fast, which means they're not synced up. That's kind of poor. Uh, speeding again? You know what? Go to hell. That's just kind of the mood I'm in right now. Mm, I gotta step away from the keyboard a moment, folks. I apologize. For you, this is only gonna take a brief moment. For me, this is gonna be a couple minutes. So I shall return. All right. I apologize for that uh, quick break. I know that it was just a uh, moment for you folks. But still. It's a mirror the toll booths look different. There must be another product of what the traffic mod one of the small things I didn't find yet. So not much further to go, only 63 kilometers and falling obviously. did have the high beams on. Yeah, that's another thing about the 386 that was wrong. 
uh, for those of you that stuck around this long. The headlights were ungodly bright, even on low settings. They were like blindingly bright right in front of you. And I was really annoying. You know, there's just too many things with that truck that... Please tell me you're going to stop. Thank you. There was just too many things with that truck that just didn't sit right with me, you know? Maybe I'll do a quick showcase of it in a separate video rather than do it at the end of this one. And I, I don't mean, when I say like quick showcase, I don't mean like take it out for a trailer run. I mean I'll just run bobtail on it just to show you the things that I mean. <laughs> Be like a five minute video. are completely different. Check out that log trailer. Is that even legal? Oh, I'll just take it off. That's pretty cool. I know that's that's part of the TSM mod, but I wasn't realizing that we were like near an airport. So. Check this truck out. I think we saw it in passing, carrying barrels of explosives uh, or whatever, and then the, the uh, propane tanks. It even has the proper signage on it. Nice. It's real nice, actually. Right. I gotta go around you, dude. Yeah, that's the Renault we saw earlier. Just about finished. I may be going back to Warcraft for a little while. I don't know. It's possible just because, like, the Sons of Draenor actually kind of piqued my interest uh, for the first time in over two years. And yes, it has been that long for me. I, I haven't played Warcraft. I quit Warcraft before they came out with uh, the final dungeon and that included, you know, I during the Deathwing expansion is when I quit Warcraft. And I quit before they came out with the fight with Deathwing. So I kind of went back and looked. Um, and it's been just about two years, I guess, since I've played. And the fact that you can, like, I, I don't know how well it worked, but the fact that you can set up your own home, that you can set up your own, uh, you know, farmstead or whatever, that, like, really kind of, like, got me to raise my eyebrow. I say no it's not Ooh. <laughs> it's not crashing it's just loading and terribly too many mods I guess the traffic mod plus the town I guess kind of caused that again there's something that may actually fix if I were to put more memory in my computer which I have yet to do I still only have uh, four gigs in here and I need to put uh, four more. I just haven't bothered to buy them yet. The opportunities that I did have to buy them, I didn't buy them, obviously. Yeah, 
Hello, barrier. I have no idea what our chances are of making this. just there is enough there to interest me into wanting to go back to check it out Let's see if we can get this on the first shot we should be able to Might be a little too far over to the right. No, we got it. And excellent work. All right, so what do I think of the truck? It's not bad. It looks really good on the outside. It looks okay on the inside. The inside looks a little. Uh, a little bit textured down, but it's not horrible, not by any stretch of the means. It's actually pretty good. Um, the sound actually kind of grew on me while I was driving. It sounded a little bit more like a truck as I drove uh, rather than sitting still. Um, so the sound was okay, but I still don't agree with the sound. I think the sound is still a little bit too midi file for my um, personal preference and um, well I can just show you real quick what I mean um, we'll hop back into the 386 real quick okay which is a real shame because this sounds like a really nice, you know, looks like a really nice truck. And even the interior is really nice. Okay, let's just um, hop outside. Okay, and let's fire it up. You hear that? That's a little bit closer inside that that low growl you hear that idle I don't know to me that just sounds closer but and I wish I could like so you could hear the gear down when I play uh, it has a really nice gear dial, but oh god, that wide and, and quick check, it's dark, so. Look at how bright those beams are, yeah? And that's low beams. You know, that's high beams. That's just blinding. So, yeah, it's just... But we're not here about that. So, the 387. It's a good mod. The sounds okay. I don't know if the windshield wipers work. The sounds not uh, in sync with the wipers as they move across the windshield, and that's usually not a good sign. But again, I wasn't able to test that because it didn't rain. So it's a use at your own risk when it comes to that. But if the wipers work, I would say it's a really good mod. You know, despite the lack of modifications. Uh, modification points on it you can still um, it drives well brakes well um, you know it has good physics on it uh, it looks really good inside and out if it you know if a little bit cheesy but I have cheesier trucks like the Scania stacks in my inventory Ooh, pardon me so I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for more American trucks to put into your uh, collection. So 
there, it's easy enough to find. And if I can remember, and I'll head out and find it, I'll put a link in the description down below. Uh, you can easily just search out the 387. As a matter of fact, I got this 387 from the um, SCS uh, Truck World, uh, World of Trucks uh, forum is where I got it from. And you can go there and find it under their mod section. Uh, I will go back and look for it, hopefully, and put the description in below. But other than that, folks, I'm pretty much done for this one. As you can hear, I'm, I'm yawning my head off. So I need to get this recording done and over with. So as always, I hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you, folks. If you could leave a comment, rate, and subscribe, that would be really awesome. Until next time, this is One Big Bugger signing out. I'll see you then.